God uses trials for our good mm -hmm. and, and he wants us to grow through trials. So I'm sure some aspect of your homeschool is a trial, whoever's listening to this. And there's so many things God can teach us from. We've been talking about teaching our kids to be self-starters. Let's, it, it, it's much easier, I know, if we teach them from a very young age. But a lot of us have teenagers who haven't learned how to be self-starters. So talk to that mom really quickly. What if you have a teenager who you've not done any training with them whatsoever on teaching them how to become a self-starter? Because that's, that's a skill that takes years for people to learn. How would you, what advice would you give to that mom? It's hard when your kids are teenagers, because I think once they hit teenager, they're not as likely to take advice from you, period. So like when they're <laughs> young, they think, oh, you're just the greatest, you know, or, <laughs> they love you. And then the older they get, they're like, mm, I'm not so sure you're right about that. <laughs> so yeah. how are you going to do it? Conse consequences is one. So the, the woman mm -hmm. I talked about, one of the earlier uh, podcast episodes who, who took away your son's phone if, if you didn't get the work done. You could do something yeah. like that. But I also think it's helpful for them to find out from others. So you could actually assign them uh, how to overcome procrastination project, have them, you know, do a Google search, maybe search some apps. So have them work on, on their own. Or you mm -hmm. could have them do my Bible say, Freedom from Procrastination. I actually mm -hmm. made that cover. I had a super cute feminine cover the designer yeah. gave, and I chose the other one because I thought, I really want teenage boys to be able to, the homeschoolers yeah. to be able to use this. So that would be another thing you could do. What piece of advice would you give to us as moms now looking back? Because you're past your homeschooling years. You're that veteran homeschool mama um, who's now learned from many years of experience, what would you like to leave us with? Well, what I wish I had done, if I could go back, um, I wish I would have started maturing at a, a younger age. So I didn't really start getting close to God. I mean, I've been a Christian and consider myself a strong Christian since I was 12, but I really didn't start getting close to God and actually maturing in the area of my faults, probably till I was, well, till my oldest was 14. And mm. so if, if my kids had had the benefit of that, you know, when they were younger, <laughs> I could yeah. have done so much more to help them. And, you know, I, I wasn't crazy about homeschooling. So if I could have gone back to those younger days and just embraced it, some of my friends loved homeschooling. They loved being a homeschool mom. I didn't. I wish I would have worked on how to love doing it, how to embrace it, because God uses trials for our good. Mm -hmm. and, and he wants us to grow through trials. So I'm sure some aspect of your homeschool is a trial, whoever's listening to this. And there's so yeah. many things God can teach us from those trials. One of my friends said, if she had to um, give advice to homeschool mom, she would say, work on your own faults because you'll mm. see those faults magnified in your kids. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, yeah, I would guess I would like, you know, draw close to God, work on some of those things. Um, we all have those faults. And yeah. embrace homeschooling. Just There's so much that's delightful about it. So focus on the good. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 